it's early autumn here in the UK and uh, the heat has now gone out of the weather and so that means that we can begin to style uh, some evergreen trees. Uh, this time of year we like to work on spruce, taxus, uh, scots pines and uh, all sorts of other evergreens. It's a really good time because the trees are still fairly flexible, the weather's not particularly cold, uh, we're nowhere near any frost yet, we've still got potentially several weeks of mild weather and so that gives us a chance to get to grips with something like this. Uh, this is taxus Picatur or English yew and it's a really ugly stump that's been laying around in the uh, nursery now for the last four or five years. Nobody would be mad enough to buy it. It. and so I think that uh, it's about time I got to grips with it so today I'm going to uh, hopefully knock some holes in this and get some basic style into it it's a really difficult tree because the trunk is a little kind of uh, odd it's kind of got strange twists and things in it and also the main branch here kind of goes away from the best front of the tree so we've got a little bit of a challenge on here but uh, I think that we should be able to get something quite nice and squat out of this From this side of the tree you can see the trunk is not particularly attractive, the base is a little bit narrow with some reverse taper and one of the bigger problems we've got is the, as you can see here, the main branch on the tree is going off to the left and we've got this smaller branch going off to the right with nothing in the middle. Unfortunately we've got enough smaller branches that we're going to be able to bend and manipulate some of those into position but the secret with this tree is going to be able to, uh, is going to be finding the balance the secret with this tree is going to be finding the balance between where the best front is and where the best uh, positioning of the branches are and that's not going to be particularly easy. From this angle it's a little difficult to see but the primary branch or the main extension of the trunk goes off to the right. Uh, the base is reasonable from this side uh, but uh, the angle of the uh, the trunk is all, all wrong and uh, it doesn't really make the most of the width of the trees. From this angle, the extension of the trunk, the upper part, comes nicely towards us, but the left-hand side of the trunk curls nicely around towards us, but the right-hand side, more or less, just disappears under the tree. It's quite difficult to see uh, from this shot. The secret to working material like this is in uh, determining what parts of the tree you can change and what parts you can't. Now on the face of it, and certainly in this shot, this tree looks pretty good from this angle. Uh, we can use the foliage on the right to build the apex of the tree, remove the foliage on the left, and that looks pretty good. But from where I'm standing, all that foliage on the right is actually going away from the trunk, so it's kind of behind it. So I think it's safe to say that we're going to have to make a change of uh, angle or a change of inclination in this tree. But uh, now we've had a good look around it, you can see it really hasn't got... Uh, anything going for it so this is going to be a real uh, challenge to get something attractive at this horrible stump. I've now more or less decided what, uh, what I want to do with this and so the first thing <clears throat> is to start to remove one or two bits and pieces on here that we just don't uh, that we just don't need. That'll start to open it up so we can see what we're uh, exactly what it is that we're looking at. So hopefully you can see that's opened it up a little bit and uh, we can see a little bit more now of what's uh, what's going on here. The big issue we've got is that this part of the trunk just disappears right underneath the tree and then we've got these sort of <clears throat> ugly roots here, straight piece here, not very attractive so that's something that we're going to have to deal with and of course we have got this uh, massive great big cut in the top that uh, obviously we're going to have to clean that out. And after three days of drinking with Labrador, I just get an inkling to go on home. So I'm walking down Cold Harbor Lane, head hung low, three or four in the morning. The sun's coming up and the birds are out singing.
Yeah.